Yo, what's happening? Eric Wong here from ericwongma.com. And I've got another little training technique exercise that you can use and play with. And this one's really good for developing your overall control of your body. So some exercises like squats and deadlifts are great for developing strength. This is not one of those exercises. This is not an exercise to develop maximal strength. What this exercise is gonna enlighten for you and illuminate for you, that, that's a better word actually, is your body's balance, your left right balance, okay? So where you're weaker, where you're stronger, and it's gonna help to fix that up. So this exercise, let's do it up. I call it the one arm overhead alternating lunge. Long name for a simple exercise. So I've got a couple of kettlebells here. You can use kettlebells, you can use dumbbells, it does not matter one bit, okay? So what you wanna do is bring these kettlebells or your dumbbells or whatever you're using, you just need, you're not using a barbell for this one, bring them up to the front rack position, okay? So in this position, what I'm gonna do is gonna do one arm, pop it up. Now here, I wanna make sure that the arm is perfectly straight, okay? So I'm locked out and I'm stable. And from here, I'm gonna do an alternating lunge, reverse lunge, right leg back, left leg back, okay? Controlled. It's like so, it's a little harder to talk when doing this. It's easier just to do it. Then I'm gonna do the other arm. So pop it up, good posture, keep it nice and straight, stable. And then right leg back, whoa. You can see some challenge there. Left leg back, okay. And then you alternate. So there's a lot of benefits to this exercise. Let me do one more, just for fun. All the people are having a dance party upstairs. Okay, boom. There we go, all right. So that is the one arm overhead alternating lunge. So this exercise, what are the benefits of this exercise? So first of all, because of the different position of the arms, you've got different weight on one side compared to the other. So that's gonna illuminate the left, right core and hip imbalances. Okay, so when you're stepping back with both sides, when I got this arm up overhead, it's a different stimulus with the right leg versus the left leg. So when I got the right leg back, big stretch through the fascia, through all the muscles in the right side, okay? Different than when you got a left side back, then we're getting a little more stability on this side. So it's just hitting your body in a different way and it's gonna illuminate imbalances that you may or may not have. Another great benefit of this exercise is the fact that you're holding it up overhead, one rep, two reps, that might take like eight seconds or so. That's a nice metric for the shoulder. Great for not only getting the, the blood flow to that shoulder in the overhead position, which is gonna help you to mobilize that overhead position, but we're also building that strength and stability there too under a dynamic condition. Because we're moving, you know, doing the lunge, the weight is wobbling, we've got to stabilize it there in that overhead position. It's gonna to help to keep that range of motion. That's something I talk about in the shoulder flexibility solution. Another benefit, as you can tell, the way my breathing is right now, it, uh, it's a heavy load on your system. You've got the isometric, you've got all these core muscles firing, you've got the legs working, glutes, big muscles. A lot going on there. So you can do, you know, a few reps on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six total with the arm up overhead. So three on the right arm, three on the left arm and see how it feels after. Now, I always get the question, uh, Eric, how much weight do I use? Use a weight that you can keep perfect form with. Okay. And then keep pushing that weight up, challenging that. But I don't know how much weight you should use. I don't know how strong you are. So just try it out, start light, work on the form, and then work your way up and you'll find out how much weight you, can, you need to use for this, all right? So there you go, one arm overhead alternating lunge. Great exercise to find out what that core is doing, to find out where those imbalances are in the glutes and the core. And it's gonna challenge the heart rate and your metabolic system as well. So give that a shot, play with it. Again, it's not a maximal strength exercise. This is an exercise to develop that neuromuscular system and to help you to figure out and balance your body. All right, do that up, let me know how it goes and 
We'll keep these training techniques coming, these innovative training techniques to help martial artists get, like you get in top fight shape. Even if you don't train the martial arts, if you've got that mindset of progression, growth, learning, continued striving, then you got the martial arts mindset and I'm down with that. All right, so I'll see you next time. Peace.